Now, how about pH up and pH down? I know there's a lot of people, they'll get their water, they'll need to pH adjust their water. Maybe the, the original water that they have is coming in too high, for example, as sodium bicarbonate says high pH, so they need to add in a couple drops of pH down, which normal pH down, I believe most of them are phosphoric acid, right? And so they think that those couple drops, all it really takes is a couple drops, two, three drops, maybe a milliliter, to bring that down to the acceptable range. Now, there are people out there that use that phosphoric acid, mix in, get their water adjusted, but then when they water their plants, like you're killing off microbes. What's your take no. on that one? Uh, so once you actually dilute the pH up and pH down, it's not going to have any effect on the microbes. Like I was saying earlier, they're able to operate at a real wide range of pHs. Um, and just a, a, a pretty good point to make, the water when you're doing that is not their native environment. We want to get them out of the water and into the soil as soon as we possibly can uh, to prevent selecting for a waterborne environment. These are root growth or uh, root-borne microorganisms. Uh, they're meant to be in the root zone. We don't want to keep them in the water water too long it's just meant to be a really good even thorough carrier to get them all the way through the soil instead of just having like pockets of it here and there this clip is brought to you by ac infinity use discount code mr grow at 15 to save on any of their products 